हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन पावर सिस्टम दे आर टू सिग्निफिकेंट वर्ड्स वन इज द कोफिशेंट ऑफ ग्राउंडिंग एंड सेकेंड इज द अर्थ फॉल्ट फैक्टर और ग्राउंड फॉल्ट फैक्टर वी यूज लिखा मै क्रॉस दिस वर्ड वैन वी आर गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट सर्ज एस्टर और वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द मैक्सिम ओवर वोल्टेज वी मे फेस इन आवर सिस्टम ड्यूरिंग सिंगल फेस टू ग्राउंड फॉल्ट बेसिकली दे आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सिस्टम इफ यू लुक एट द पिक्चर grounded system or that is called a solidly grounded or effectively grounded system or ungrounded system what happens when there is a single phase to ground fault if your system is effectively grounded system as shown in the picture number 1 there is no usually over voltage and that is because of the coefficient of grounding that is nothing it is a ratio of the phase to neutral voltage of unfaulted phase during the falls and vll is your phase to phase nominal voltage that means if the maximum voltage occurred at your system is vln during the fault on unfaulted phase and if you divide it by the rated voltage of your system that gives coefficient of grounding on the other hand earth fault factor is nothing it is basically ratio of vln that is the maximum voltage of unfaulted phase during single phase to ground fault to the rated single phase voltage phase to neutral voltage of that system in other word that is the under root 3 of coefficient of grounding i have given the same thing in the table and typical value for the ground fault or earth fault factor for a solidly grounded four wire system is 1.25 uni grounded three phase Three wire system is 1.4, and impedance grounded system it is 1.73, and isolated ground system and delta system it is 1.73. And these both word coefficient of grounded and earth fault factor I hope will help you in your further study whenever you come across over voltage study or selection of uh, your voltage your LA. that will definitely help thank you thank you everyone thanks a lot